good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are from in the world. Welcome to Pixie's channel. Yes, we've got a special guest here today, and I am going to do a video interview with Ken Heron. Well, good afternoon, Ken, or good evening, whichever time of the day is over there across the pond. How are you? Hello, sir. How are you? Thanks for asking me to do this. All right, let's get straight into it. Let's get on with the first question. All right, bring them on. What do you got, sir? How did you get into YouTube and why? I started my YouTube channel for a radio station where I was working back in 2008, I believe. And we were just going to throw some things up there, do some kind of vlog. Uh, me and a guy named Fish. You can look it up on, on Google. Some of the old shows are there. Uh, the Fish and Ken Show in Huntsville, Alabama. So that's why I started it. And I had a account doing nothing for many years until I started putting some technical things on there, like the world's most powerful laser. I think that was my first video that got any traction at all. That's right, I have a lightsaber. Wow. Wow. For those of you that don't know, Ken is a droner. Um, he's got an Inspire 2. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Phantom 4 Pro. Mm -hmm. Quite a few other drones as well. Quite a few drones. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. So, what uh, my question is to you is, Ken, what out of those drones you have got is your favorite one? Very good question. And you'd think it would be the Inspire 2 because it's the biggest and the most expensive and has the best camera. Well, you'd be wrong because it's this little guy here. The Phantom 4 series of drones, so versatile, so uh, easy to fly, and the image is really great on this one inch sensor. Now, of course, the Inspire 2 is a little bit better. It's got a lot of great features in it, but it takes more time to set up. And for me, if I'm gonna do just a quick thing, I'm driving down the road, I see something cool, I just send this up, I don't have to put the props on or the camera this it's already together and it is small enough to fit around objects and through things and this is my go-to drone the phantom 4 pro this is a 2.0 what are your goals for 2019 for youtube where do you want to be well of course as any youtuber would like i would like more subscribers i'm kind of working towards getting that hundred thousand i would very much like to have a silver play button that would be cool from YouTube. I've worked very hard, and hopefully that'll happen this year. I've been getting a lot of good momentum lately, so fingers crossed, and I hope everybody watching will subscribe if you're not already. Well, somebody started out on YouTube, what would your advice be for getting the first drone? Okay, very good question. You have to decide what you want to do with it. There are many different kinds of drones. There's work drones. There's tethered drones, there's race drones, there's photography drones. Uh, I think you're talking about photography drones, but any drone, the same principle applies. It's a quadcopter or an octocopter, but still it's not a fixed wing. So you have to learn how to fly it. And the best way to do that is to get a little toy drone, something that is not GPS capable, meaning that satellites won't lock it in place without you having to think about it. Get a little toy where you have to actually concentrate and think about flying it correctly before spending a lot of money and breaking the more expensive drones. That would be my advice. To start small and then work your way up. In your mind, what is your favorite or what is the best drone? The Mavic, the Phantom or the Inspire series? Well, there's a lot to that question and a lot of it has to do with personal preference. The Mavic series is a folding drone, so if you're a hiker or a camper or someone that travels a lot and you don't have a lot of space, then bring a folding drone. If you're more into uh, getting cinema shots, you know, getting real cinematic vistas and you're shooting a movie, then the Inspire 2 might be the way to go. Or if you just want a good old workhorse of a drone, that's been around for a while and is proven, I would suggest the Phantom 4 series. Would you recommend using filters 
whilst doing a video or taking pictures. Me personally, I don't use uh, filters, um, but I know a lot of people do. So um, would you recommend using filters for your drone? Yes, absolutely, especially in uh, daylight. You don't want to use filters at night unless you're going for that look. I uh, happen to have some filters right here, and let's see, I'll just pull this one out. This is a an ND8 filter. It might be too dark for this room. I'll hold it up here, and you can see what it does. See how bright the room is? What this will do, an ND filter is a neutral density filter, and it forces the shutter of your camera to speed up or slow down depending on the light. So some of you, that may look better. It's like putting sunglasses on your drone. And outside in bright sunlight, this is a must have. All right, last question. What would be the best advice to give to somebody who has just started on, out on their very first drone? Just get a drone and try it. If you enjoy flying, then maybe you just fly a drone for fun. If you find that you want a little bit more control and you want to work with the camera some more, then get a drone with a camera on it. If that's not enough, then move on up to a GPS controlled drone and on and on and on. Or you may want to go the race route. Uh, racing drones are a lot of fun, FPV drones as they call them, and I've delved into that a little bit. Um, it is a hard learning curve from someone who is a photography drone guy that's just kind of doo -doo 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 -doo, you know, cinematic type to this just amazing, I really want to get into that. So um, get a little toy drone if you don't have anything then start flying that and see where your heart takes you. All right, then, guys, that concludes the video interview. I hope you enjoyed it uh, very much. As you can see with the uh, sweatshirt, I'm part of the Drone Seekers uh, Society. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below to his channel. Thank you very much for doing that, Drone Seekers Society. Link, 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 clickety-click down there. And also the Yorkshire Drone Seekers, which I am a member of. Yorkshire Drone Seekers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ken, if you do fancy coming to England at any time in the future, uh, we have got a spare room with a bed, or, uh, with a bed upstairs in it. Um, yeah, all you've got to do is pay for the flights, and we'll go fly together. So, invitation over to England there for you. That is very nice of you. I really appreciate it. And once I get my passport, I don't have my passport. I should. Once I get that, then I'm going to be a man around town. I'm going to be a jet setter. I'm going to be all around the world. And I will come and stay in your extra bedroom. Thank you, sir. All right, then, guys. Uh, I shall see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it all. Oh, Ken's description. Uh, Ken's link will be in the description below. So I'll see you later. Buh and bye. <laughs>